this many people. There was almost no people there <laughs> the first time. And if it was like my losing my virginity again, I'd almost be done. And so, uh, there is the same amount of sweat though. That is that's still the same. That's, is anybody broke? Who's who here has no money? Yeah, I don't. I don't have any money. To the it's been that way for a while, just because I'm bad with it. Uh, back when I lived with my friends and like, hey, like, why don't you come to the living room? We're all watching the game. Uh, I had broken my phone charger, so I had actually a wireless charger. The only problem was it was a lamp. And so it's real weird walking into the room with a whole lamp, and everyone's like, what's, what's going on here? And it's like, why don't you stop asking questions? You know, I'm just here to have a good time. Don't you think it's dark in here? And so, you know, don't know what's going on. I don't know why you're asking so many questions. But I, I come from a family where it's like both ends. My grandpa was just trying to make a casual conversation with a cousin of mine, and he said, like, hey, have you watched any baseball this, this year? And he goes, well, I've actually just watched the Yankees-Red Sox game in Boston last week. And I'm sitting at the kitchen table like I used my pocket change to buy gas just to get here. So we're living two different lives, my man. Uh, but I, I get why my parents were kind of mad at me and my siblings when we were kids because whenever we would like spill drinks on the carpet or on the, like the couch and they would just want to fucking beat our asses. And I'm like, I agree now because those are expensive <laughs> by my own. I'm ready to beat my own ass when I spill my juice or anything, you know? <laughs> Kid, having kids are hard. I don't have any, but you know, it looks really hard. <laughs> I have four dogs, though, which I think that equals at least one kid. I'd argue two, but I'd say at least one. I mean, I have, I've had the midnight emergency medical visits. My dog, uh, two weeks ago, this is true, just lost an eye. Uh, and so I turned around, and I was like, oh, it's on his face. And I didn't have my glasses on, so you know, I got low and, to wipe it off, and it's his eyeball. So I, you know, I grew up on a farm, I've seen some stuff, so my reaction was to scream and uh, call for my wife and say, like, someone else needs to take care of this right now, because I'm, <laughs> I'm not the guy for this situation. We end up going to the vet, it's, at this point it's midnight, and I'm text, I just need to talk to somebody, so I just text my friend, like, hey, I'm at the emergency animal clinic, my dog lost an eye. And my wife's like, is that all you're going to tell him? It's, at this point, that's all I know, okay? I, we're here in the same situation. If you know more, you need to share some information because I turned around and he's missing an eye. And when we ended up going home, I had noticed the corner of a cabinet covered in blood with the trail leading to where I found him. And I realized that he, just as an idiot, he just ran into the wall and ripped it out. And the next day, you know, everything was taken care of. He's fine now. And we're driving to Target to pick something up. And... I just kind of looked over at her and I said, hey, this might sound real stupid, but should we baby-proof the place? Like, I, like oh, this happened once and we have three more. Like, this, <laughs> the numbers are against us right now. Uh, but the doctor actually was just like, well, we can either take it out or we can just patch it up. And I said, well, if, or, and leave it in. And I said, well, if we leave it in, will it work? And they said, no. Is it, I mean, is it the same price? No, it's, it's significantly more expensive if you leave the eye in. Well, I'm not doing it for his ego. You know, if it's not gonna work, get it out of there. I don't care if he's looking good for picture day. It's, it's, I would have loved for this to be like a $300 procedure, but we're in the thousands right now. Take the eye out. Uh, but that's not the only medical problem we had this year. I did, I was one of the people who got COVID. Um, and I did, like he said, I don't care about the rest of you, I don't care about me. So if it took me, I was like, it's my time to go. That's, that's fine with me. But at this point, everyone who I talk to, having COVID is like having an STD. Just, fuck, how did I get, I wore protection, I had the mask, who gave it to me? It's gonna kill my social life for at least two weeks. I think for me, Trojan ruined the word magnum for me. Because even, <laughs> even when I said that, like, I'm, to this crowd, I'd say about 85% of you thought condom, 15% thought gun, and none of you thought about that ice cream. That I don't know how to do marketing. Uh, back when I was in college, living at the, the apartment, same apartment, my girlfriend, who, now wife, she was texting me saying, I'm gonna be over in 10 minutes. And at that year, I was 21. I didn't have any condoms, and I knew, well, <laughs> I don't know why else she'd be coming over for, so. <laughs> I hopped out of bed, got my phone off the lamp, and uh, <laughs> went, to, went to run to a gas station anywhere. And I, halfway to the gas station, I realized I don't even have my glasses. I can't see a thing, so I just pulled in. And you know, I'm not afraid to ask somebody, hey man, I don't have my glasses on. Do you have a, do you have a box of condoms? I'm just trying to buy that. And he was like, yeah, man, I got you. Just walked up. Cause I remember it to this day. His name was Terrell, he was a black dude. I said, hey man, do you have any condoms? I don't have my glasses on. Yeah, turns around, scans them, puts it down, 750, I'm broke, but she's coming over, so that's worth the money. Uh, and I realized that he'd slapped down 
a box of Magnum condoms. And I, for one, I was proud of him that that's what his first choice was. <laughs> but and I'm, I'm not embarrassed to ask somebody, like, hey man, can you hand me the condoms? But I am embarrassed to say, can you get me a smaller size <laughs> of condoms? So I am proud to say I did make it work that night, though. There's never, no one was the wiser. Um, but man, I don't even remember, I don't even remember what it was like before 2020. And not even because of COVID, just that's when I downloaded TikTok. Nothing in the same sense. I haven't had like an original thought in like two years. It's all just the replay. It's just the scrolling. It's the same thing as the Facebook. It's just that 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 drip that makes the happy button go. But I think my favorite thing about TikTok is just so many people have it. So many people record everything. I've seen such amazing artwork and such amazing pictures and photographs, and I feel weird because I'm watching it all on the toilet, and so it just doesn't match the beauty of what's going on. Uh, it did make me think of a new emoji idea, though, that I am looking forward to getting to submit it to Apple. It's that face you make when you're trying to show a friend uh, a funny video, but you're watching them more than you're watching the video. Just that kind of, you think, do you agree with, no? Uh, I'll put it. <laughs> no, man, but on my phone, I'm actually, I'm more protective over my deleted folder than I am over anything else, because if you saw what I was keeping my locked phone, just imagine what I'm trying to, you know, get rid of, I'm trying to throw away. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I, I was nervous to do this. This is my first time. I think I mentioned it about seven times and I think we got another good three times before I get the point across. Uh, but I did do, I just had a friend's, uh, a wedding come up and I had to do the best man speech. But for me, that was like stand up, except for it was more like a roast. All I did was just shit on him for two minutes and then just hand the mic over to the maid of honor. So that was a good time for me. Um, uh, but, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, he was, uh, he's uh, like my dad friend. I know a lot of a uh, group of friends have like the, the dad friend, the most uh, mature one, one who maybe makes the most money. But for him, it's like my actual dad because when I'm with him, I still hold the flashlight. You know, when he's got the ratchet <laughs> strap, I'm the guy who's just standing there with the hook. Like, is it tight? It's tight. It's tight. Just make, just make it go. Like, I got the hook on there. And yes, the flashlight's pointed towards it. So let's just get it over with. Uh, that's everything. Everything I got. Thanks, guys.